something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Gero. Got the whole gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Hey guys, the Lone Wolf here. And today I'm taking a quick look at Dishonored. Um, I've, this is not a first look, because I've actually already played through the game once. Uh, it took me about 9 hours. So right now I'm familiar with most of... Uh, most of the mechanics and uh, I can say um, it's a beautiful game uh, just look at the graphics I'm really amazed by this uh, looks fantastic uh, my second uh, observation is that it's a it's a very polished game um, I haven't had any crashes in, in my entire first playthrough and I haven't encountered any bugs uh, or any game breaking stuff uh, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it all feels very polished. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. All right. Attention, all citizens. Hey, stop no that. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Okay, and then. Um, that's uh, one thing also, it's a pretty difficult game, um, I've died quite a few times and the NPCs don't stop uh, talking so let's keep going with the commentary. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty difficult game but I've had quite a lot of fun playing it so far um, uh, but I didn't have a lot of patience so that means I went a very chaotic route, I've killed a lot of people and that did make the game significantly harder though so in that sense um, yeah these nine hours uh, I spent them most of the time killing people and uh, let's have a quick look around before I do anything rash here but I should be able to take that guy out no problem and this is one of my powers special dark view that teleport as well and that's the final one which uh, basically is my combination I can view my targets in the walls I can teleport right behind them and then when I kill them without them noticing me they disappear in a puff of smoke or ash and uh, that's basically how I've been going through the game uh, so mechanics wise as you can see it all works pretty smoothly And are you going to give me an opportunity? I'm a bit worried by the guard at the at the back there, so I might have to take care of him first. <laughs> and he's uh, taking a leak on those rats. So let's see if I can get all the way over there, which looks like I can. Very good. I'll take care of you first then. Goodbye. That's two down. Um, but all this killing does mean, like I said, is a high chaos rating. So everything becomes a lot more uh, difficult. A lot more soldiers on the streets, a lot more searchlights, towers, and defenses. Can I get through here? Oh, I can just continue over here, right? I won't bother with the rest of those guys. Um, and yeah, that's just because I've been a bit lazy. I didn't want to spend all that time trying to find a, a non-lethal route. So I've just been going through it, killing everything I could. Oh, and I do remember this part. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. I had to somehow get that cart moving. And I need that stuff. Uh, a power supply for that so yeah these are some of the mechanics I've mostly been using 
Uh, let's have a quick look at the powers menu. I've mostly been using the blink one. Um, and then we shadow kill uh, so that uh, the enemies turn to ash after they die. And then dark vision just so I can uh, keep an eye on everything. That's what I've mostly been using. I've hardly been using any of the ranged weapons. Uh, like the pistol because that, that just makes a lot of noise and attracts everybody. Uh, the crossbow. Haven't been using that very much. These uh, little gadgets are pretty cool. These are like landmines that shred people to, to bits when they pass them. And you also have uh, non-lethal arrows and explosive arrows. Uh, this is a special mechanic to find magical items. Uh, but like I said, I haven't been using them very much. And let's just uh, quickly see if I can get to that power supply there somehow well not this way apparently um yeah it's it's been quite a lot of fun like i said it's a very polished game oh damn miscalculated there that'll work and uh yeah i haven't had any problems at all no crashes no problems with uh with the mechanics Let's get in there, just so I can go to the drawbridge spotlights without anyone noticing me. And it looks absolutely beautiful. I can imagine though, if you're completely rushing the game, that you can finish it very quickly. Uh, even my 9 hours have been with a lot of uh, trial and error, a lot of dying I have to say as well. <laughs> and a lot of killing like that um, but you can spend a lot more time in it uh, if you look for all the non-lethal ways to complete the missions you'll be busy for hours on end there's also a lot of books and lore that you can explore which can also take quite a bit of time to cover and to read everything I haven't done that uh, so yeah the story can become quite a lot uh, a lot more deep than what I have experienced in this nine hour playthrough um, just by reading the books and damn it some more guards coming my way so we'll have to be a little careful if they're following each other like that that'll work blink and kill all right everybody executed um, maybe one mechanic that's pretty important to remember if, if you ever plan to play the game is how the uh, the mana consumption works. Some of the bigger spells like possession will actively cost you mana. And oh, that guy noticed something going on. Um, but for instance, if I want to use uh, Dark Vision, when I activate it, you can see it consumes the mana. But if I don't use any other spells, it'll slowly regain it. Meaning that I can use this and blink as much as I want. And uh, that's that's a pretty interesting mechanic. Uh, but it's very necessary. Because blink is something you need all the time. And um, as you can see, you can blink up to quite a lot of different places. Let's quickly regain our mana first. And then well, you can go right into someone's house. This for instance is like a non-lethal way to get past those guards. You could kill them as well if you wanted to. And then uh, right here in the house. Uh, maybe I can show you guys. Is that here? Anything here? Oh yeah, there's a rune inside this vault. Which would then require for me to find the combination of that vault in order to get it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, very interesting concept, I think, uh, that uh, the more you kill, actually the harder it becomes uh, from, a, from an action point of view. And then the more stealthy you manage to go through the game, um, the, the, the less chaos and the less dark the city becomes. Um, I haven't experienced that, but uh, I can imagine that there's like a lot less searchlights and a lot lesser soldiers and more um, civilians all over the place when you do it without killing anyone but like i said that's the drawback 
I would say uh, of playing like that is that it will take a lot longer to finish the game uh, than when you go straight up for some action and let's quickly go over here so yeah there we go that's the bi the big bridge where I have to take care of those uh, of those spotlights and that uh, there you can uh, see well the water is not that special but uh, the reflection of the city is okay it is obviously uh, just a just a background um, but uh, close up the game looks really good uh, and like I said extremely polished so there you go guys that was a look at Dishonored and I will see you all next time